Implementing e-payments in Jackrabbit will help you get your money faster, save a tremendous amount of time posting and collecting payments, and allow you to collect payment even when you cannot be face-to-face -face with your customers. To process e-payments through Jackrabbit for multiple families and update their accounts in Jackrabbit all at once, choose one of our payment partners, CNH Financial or Safe Safe Payments. Go to the gear icon, Setup, ePayment Wizard for contact information and to apply online. When you use one of our payment partners and initiate an ePayment transaction in Jackrabbit, Jackrabbit securely transmits it to your payment partner, also known as a gateway. The gateway converts it and sends it to the merchant processor, who then responds back to the gateway if it's accepted or declined. The entire process typically takes seconds. The process is similar when you initiate a bank draft in Jackrabbit, except it takes an average of 5 to 7 business days to settle, and accounts in your database are not updated if a bank account draft is declined. Jackrabbit doesn't charge fees for processing e-payments. Your gateway and merchant processor will charge processing fees, and some of these are negotiable. The entire process to get set up with a payment partner takes about a week from the time your completed application is submitted and you will be notified in an email from the Jackrabbit ePayments team. To complete your ePayments setup, click the Get Started button in the email, or go to the gear icon, Setup, ePayment Wizard. First, designate permissions for which users can void or refund credit cards and process or edit ePayment transactions. Next are settings to manage ePayments. You can access your virtual terminal to log into your merchant account for transaction reports, to edit your settlement schedule, etc. You can select the cards you will accept and choose to allow one card or up to three cards per family. Decide whether your new customers will be required to enter a credit card or bank account. For your existing customers, choose the preferred payment method, whether parents can make payments, and if so, how payment information on a parent's account is managed in the parent portal and set shopping cart preferences for requiring payment upon enrollment. Next, set up your email notifications. Enter an email address for any replies. Customize your ePayment emails for approved, declined, voided, and refunded transactions. Notification emails for declines, voids, and refunds can be disabled. For your next steps in processing ePayments, refer to our Help Center for ePayment Resources such as our Guide to Total ePay,